Hey, G Squad, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool one right here. And basically what this is, is a sleeping bag. If you can see the one that we got right here is from this brand. And for the one that we got right here, it's supposed to be like a blue color. They do have this available in many other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which one prefer. But you can see when you guys first get the product, it's all nicely compressed and it's all nicely wrapped up. So let's open this up and show you guys what the product looks like when you guys do put it on the floor. So you basically unstrap the side first. Once you guys do that, then you guys can open it. Then you guys can loosen up the top part. And you guys can pull it out. All right, so once you guys pull it out, this is what the product looks like. So let's fully open up the back to show you guys what the product looks like. All right, so once you guys fully open it, here is basically what the product looks like. So when you guys feel the material on here, it definitely feels really soft. And it also has like this cooling effect on here that feels really nice. And they do mention the material that they use on here is water resistant. So if you guys actually spill water on here, it should be fine. But if you see the bottom, we do have the brand logo, King Cam. Top part right here, they mentioned how it's called Free Space 350. Top part right here is where you guys want to put like your pillow or your head on here, where you guys do use a sleeping bag. And then on the side right here, they do give you guys a zipper compartment for you guys to open up. So that way you can go inside and sleep inside. And they mentioned the way how you guys wash it is by hand washing it. You don't want the machine to wash it. But when you guys feel the fabric that's inside right here, it definitely feels really warm. They do mention the way how to design the fabric inside. It allows you guys to use it for many type of weather, where it's like warm weather, cold weather, or super cold, chilly weather. But the way how they design the zipper option, it goes all around. Let me show you guys what I mean. So if you guys unzip it, that is how far it can go. So if you guys want to fully open it, you do have the option available. So that way, if you guys want to use it as a picnic option or something, you do have the option available. And if you guys want to sleep two people on here and then put a blanket on top, you do have the option available as well. And that is also what I meant in terms of like the fact of how you guys can use it for warm weather or cold weather. So if it's too hot, you guys can fully open like this. And then for the zipper option, they do give you guys the option to pull it from the inside and outside. So that way, when you guys fully zip it up, you do have the option to open it from the inside. And also when you see the inside right here, they do give you guys an option for you guys to pull it. So that way you can get like a drawstring option to keep you guys really warm. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. And also inside the sleeping bag, if you can see right here, they do give you guys a little pocket for you guys to put stuff if you guys want to. So maybe if you guys want to keep like your phone or your wallet hidden, you do have the option available on here, which is kind of cool. But here is basically what the product looks like when you guys fully expand it. Let me actually test it out to show you guys what the product looks like. So we close that up first and let me hop in. All right, so once you guys hop in, here is basically what the product looks like. So you see it definitely has a pretty good coverage from top to bottom on here to keep you guys really warm. Like for me, when I just put it on like this, it actually feels pretty warm already. And like I mentioned, it does have a drawstring option. So if I pull the cord, here's what the product looks like if you guys do use drawstring option to pull it together. And that way you get that full on coverage for your head when you guys do put it on, which is really useful, especially like during the colder days. And if you guys want to release it, you do have the option to release it. So just like this, and it's all set. And like I mentioned, for the bottom part, you do have the option to free your legs if you guys fully unzip it like this. So that way I do have the opening for my feet to feel more relaxed. But definitely when you guys do use a product with the final material that's on here, it feels super warm. Like it's starting to heat up a lot already just by using it for less than a few minutes. But here is basically what the product looks like when you guys do fully set up. But once you guys are done using it, you guys can definitely fold it back up. So now I'm actually roll it up to show you guys how to put it away. All right, so once you guys roll it back up, then you put it back into the bag. So when you guys put it back into the bag, you just want to slowly do it and slowly push it in. Once you guys have it back in, then you guys can seal it back up with the strap. You guys want to put the strap on the side. And it's all set. So very easy and very simple to use it. If you see the whole set of parts and everything was actually pretty easy and it does feel pretty comfortable when you guys actually use it. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these one of these, especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality sleeping bag, where I give you guys everything that's on here and had a similar design as well, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, 
then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That would definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.